Pew hashtag grow a pair. What is up, guys? What is happening? Oh, I've been at it today. I've been working on solos left and right here, getting them prepared. Other cool things have happened. I was going to get into that. I'm going to show you guys what's going on here today. But I was talking about everybody's all worried about flight times with the 3DR solo and how do we get more flight time. I'm going to show you my newest gimbal design here today. Um, this is much, much, much lighter than the original gimbal, I, I think by a long shot. And I'm going to show that here to you guys today. We're going to do a weight. Uh, I'm going to weigh each gimbal with GoPro Hero 4 to show you guys exactly how much weight that we are saving here. And uh, I'm going to take an estimate of what I think our flight times are going to be. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to push the uh, beautiful little subscription button if you're new here. And uh, let's, uh, let's point you down so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay. Let me see. Is it easier to do it this way? There we go. All right, guys. So this is the modified gimbal this is the one that i just finished working on as you guys can see silver top what is up mr bradley how you doing today bub we're working on things here um i'm getting prepared to have the solo back and airborne so I'm, I'm trying to show people how i'm saving um weight and still getting good uh fpv and you know run newer cameras so actually as technology gets better this whole setup is getting better um, so this was 2015 tech right here, which allowed you to run the GoPro Hero 3 and the GoPro Hero 4. This is also 2015 tech, but with the Solo being open source, what's neat is that this actually came out for the Phantom 1 and the Phantom 2. This is uh, a, a, an older gimbal, but weighs a ridiculously less amount. As you can see, I uh, put some very specific holes in here and tied the, the gimbal in um, with a pattern. A star pattern here and so that way it can actually sit here and and take the uh, vibrations through the anti-vibration pads which we'll get into that here in a second um and it allowed me to still have all three screws and i can still put um i actually ended up putting a hole in the back here if you guys can see that i cut a hole that's where the fpv cable now that sticks into the hdmi port right here goes and um then my channel wire actually goes through the front for pitch controls and slides right around and plugs right in and all the extra wire is hidden and as you guys can see uh, this has tons of movement this is a very decent little uh rig here this is well done um I, I love this design it looks super clean the way that i did it you won't see any of the red zip ties i chose red just because the body's red um, but you won't see any of that from the bottom of it. It'll look really, really clean. So uh, today we're going to measure these. Both of them have a GoPro Hero 4 inside of them. They're both GoPro Hero 4 Silvers. And I just want to show you exactly how much flight time uh, we should increase this by um, by running this. So let's uh, zero out my scale because I think I will probably get anywhere from three minutes to five minutes of extra flight just based on saving this much weight versus this so let's go ahead and zero out the scale and i'll tell you what this way so let's start with stock and see how much weight i've saved here um, and i do have active pitch controls if anybody's wondering on the third party setup but here you go i'm going to set this up here and see if we can get this to settle properly matter of fact it might be easier if i just do it like this. Is that going to be easier? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. No, <laughs> this is not exactly the best way to have this here. Is that resting on there? Yes, it was. Okay. Let's try that. Make sure it's not resting anywhere else. Weird. Okay. This actually comes in at 317 grams right here. Um, this is very heavy. This is almost a little over the half the weight of a, of a battery for the Solo, uh, fully loaded. So 317 grams versus this beautiful little setup here. Let me see if I can get this to set on there correctly. Yep. So I've saved 117 grams by doing this setup. Um, that's a That's a fairly, that's like taking a GoPro and a half of weight off of the Solo almost. You know what I'm saying? This is exactly like 200, like on the dot, 200.0 grams, okay? 
and this was 317. So this is almost a GoPro and a quarter uh, of extra weight with this setup versus this setup. So I should see some uh, a, a much better increase in flight time based on running this. And I can also run the third party camera setup. So this is, like I said, just to give you guys an idea of how, you know, as we progress with technology, you can actually take these old birds and you can have a lot of fun with them. Um, for those of you who don't know Oz by drone, I'm going to be doing a show on Oz's channel with him. And he's asked me to talk about the, the complete history of the 3DR solo. And so we're going to go into why I still like this bird, why I still fly it, um, and why I still think it's relative to today's market. So let me see who's in here. Pull them at FPV. What's going on, man? Don't forget to smash the like button. Drone shots. What's up? Um, that was pretty much that discussion. And I wanted to give Travis a shout out because let me pull this up here so you guys can see now that we're done with gimbal discussion. What's up? Hey, it's good to see you guys. All right. Sorry, she's got my my headset. This is the battery mod. Um, this is actually the case that that we have printed off for the 3DR Solo, so it can be aesthetically pleasing. But this was printed with carbon fiber and PLA, so this is extremely tough. But check this out. For those of you who wanted to run the battery mod and said you didn't want the battery exposed because it looks stupid, check this out. Boom. Boom. Pow. What do you think of that? Clips right in just like the normal solo all the way around. Fits the top. There's a little high rise because the batteries are a little taller than what came in it. But if you want it aesthetically pleasing, now I can run my proprietary third party batteries on here with a carbon fiber top. So silver top, I agree. I think it is almost an extra five minutes of flight time. Um, also, this is going to be very lightweight because it's carbon fiber and the clip still works. If you guys are wondering, if you push the button and you pull, it will, uh, there you go, pop right out. Like a top. I love it, man. That just is so beautiful. Clip pop. I like it. It's on there, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So for those of you that wanted to do the battery mod that I came up with, we do now have a cover and a top for this. So... Dan, I'm gray. I feel like an outsider. Why? This is the one that I have the third party. Um, but like I said, I can immediately switch back to stock. I haven't done anything that can't go immediately back to stock within two minutes or less. So I can run these third party gimbals on here. So while we talk, guys, I'm actually going to reinstall the gimbal and uh, show you what that looks like on the solo now. <coughs> With the battery mod case on there. I'm still waiting on that motor pod. Um, Crystal and Chris sent out the other thing. I put all new legs on it. We have uh, my last set of uh, leg extenders just went on here with the new legs. And um, I had to put the stock solo props back on here because the master airscrew props were screwed, dude. They were in bad shape. So let me install this gimbal back on here. We're going to chat a little bit. And six people watching. <laughs> I'm not loved anymore. Jeez, oh, Pete. Can't really see here. I guess I can. We'll be good. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. All right. So let's go ahead and stick this wire through here first. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the FPV wire first. So I don't know. Just giving you shit. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for just giving me shit. I like it. I like it. All right. Come on. FPV cable. There we go. FPV cable is through. And actually, while I was here, I did want to tighten up these last two right here. There's one, two clicks there. There we go. Two clicks. Is that tight now? I think so. I think we're good. Okay. Should be good. Yep. Looks good to me. All right. Plug this back in. You're my buddy. Well, thank you. Let me get this gimbal back on here properly, guys. Uh, come on. There we go. So we're going to do a flight test uh, when the other motor pod comes in. 
Uh, we're going to use the same battery, but two different drones. They both basically have almost the same components on them. Um, no specialty props, nothing like that. So we won't be worried about all that greatness. But uh, like I said, we're going to do a test to see what the flight time differences are. And we will use a stock OEM battery. We won't use the battery mod just so people can see what they're going to get with their silly stock batteries. I'm just going to hover it in one spot for the entire battery until it tells me to get out my credit card. For those of you that don't know, if you fly the Solo down to a certain extent with the battery, it will actually tell you to pull out your credit card. It will say, well, we see that you've made the decision to run your battery down to a point where it shouldn't be. And uh, I'm thinking it's time for you must have deep pockets. I think it's time for you to pull out your your wallet because you're going to need it. Got to love the original designers of the solo, man. They had a sense of humor. Uh, one of these days I'll go ahead and I'll record that audio so you can hear what it sounds like when you run the battery down too low on the solo. All right. Should be pitch controls. Yes, it is. Run that wire back up there. Should be good to go. I'm going to plug in the gimbal now. Plug in this FPV cable. Right there to the HDMI port. Beautiful. We are plugged in. So now as I put this in, I can slowly guide everything up there. Get that out of the way. Don't want to crimp any wires places they shouldn't be crimped at. There we go. And third-party gimbal is installed. It's installed, guys. I'm going to show you what that looks like now here in a sec. Let me screw these in. Show you how much smaller it really is than the stock OEM gimbal. Like Even the base, the center base mass of it is way smaller. It's just a smaller gimbal all the way around. It's nice, man. Saving almost a, you know, 117 grams. That's that's a lot of weight, man. That really is a lot of weight. <clears throat> Should change the particulars of the flight by a long shot, honestly. Okay, that's that, and there is the third part of gimbal. I'm just going to hold it with my hand so you guys can see because I don't have a battery in there right now. But uh, see how much smaller the base is on it? It's just a way smaller setup. It is very tiny. But it does have the power to hold the GoPros. And it is brushless motors and it doesn't require any tuning. So go ahead and stick that wire, that ribbon cable I got. And you can see how that works. That ribbon cable just allows it to go up and down, motor down and up. So that ribbon cable is nice. It's a good addition to this, and the uh, anti-vibration mounts are doing pretty good, I'd say. They allow for a little bit of play and shake in there, so all good things. Oh, I missed something. Ryan, how we doing? Uh, Ryan, I think I'm starting to feel a little better here, man. No guarantees, but we're starting to feel better. This is her solo. As you can see, she chose that crazy theme. I actually have to put my legs back on here my little gray legs we took these ones off she is running the master air screw props so i gotta pop the leg extenders back on there like they were <laughs> there we go should be it it nope oh, we got them backwards here Come on, ye. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, y'all don't forget to smash the like button. I'm going to stay live for a while here, man. I uh, She's working on homework right now, and I had a chance to get out here and do some more projects while we wait on the solo. I don't have... Uh, stock or a upgrade battery anymore so now i've got to figure out how to fork out another fifty dollars for a battery mod battery another one an accident got a loose wire and it toasted so no good it's no good it toasted 
right, put this one on there. There we go. One more to go here. Dude, I need motors. My boat needs an ESC and a motor. The Gladius needs an ESC and a motor. The battery mod kit needs a $50 battery. <laughs> I, I just, the solo's down. <laughs> I think a lot of my electronics need some, my uh, RC products need some love right now. That's what happens when you don't work, man, when you can't work. Derek, what's up, man? Actually, just finishing uh, putting this solo back together here. I've got one more. Uh, I got to put the stock gimbal back on this unit with the GoPro Hero Four. So we're gonna tie this in real fast right here. Boom. And then we're gonna plug in this FPV cable right here. So I think it'll be interesting to see how much flight time we get. The differences in flight time. There we go. All right. This solo is ready. I have this remounted. Yes, sir. Cool channel. MX, what's going on, dude? We're, uh, I was showing people the difference between my stock setup. And if anybody wants that gimbal, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description if anybody wants to purchase it to third-party it to their solo. I'm going to grab a battery here in a second. We'll turn it on show you what that looks like. This one's done. This one is done. There we go. All right. OEM gimbal back on there, but man, this thing is four pounds of animal. This is heavy. Leg extenders are back on there. Good to go. Let's pull off the pull off the battery mod. Plastics here. There we go. Get that out of the way. Let's get an OEM battery for this unit. Excellent. Turn this on. Turn this on. All right. Stock battery. And uh, here we go. Actually, let me start it on the table. I want it to be flat so that it calibrates correctly. Powering on. Yeah, no, the cover's done, man. Cover's good to go. There we go. So... We are now stabilizing. I'd say it works pretty darn good. Not bad for third party, huh? <laughs> I don't know what she just said. She just said something. Hold on a second. No, because I'm on a stream. What? It's okay. Just going to save the last checkpoint. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, what do you think? Uh, all right, now, here's the best part. Booyah. Pitch controls. Boom. Third-party pitch controls, guys. Boom. Yeah. That was the hardest thing to do, was to figure out whether we were going to have gimbal control or not. But this gimbal, believe it or not, is also only $35. And this one cannot be tuned with base cam, which I'm fine with. But I think it's going to fly better. I think it's a much better, quieter unit. It doesn't have the B2C board. It has a version of the B2C board because it is a base cam. But this one is a non-tunable. So this one automatically sets the gyro from when you start up the, the, the drone. So make sure you have it on a flat surface when you start it up. You don't have roll. You only have pitch controls. So, uh, you know, the, the problem is, Lou, I don't have money to buy a Hero 7 right now. I have so much stuff I need to catch up on. My car needs, like, I, I don't know, man. Guys, it's going to be a minute before I get half the stuff that I have on my shelf behind me working again properly. So, you know. 
is what it is when you don't work for you know a month and a half coming up on two months you don't have money to buy extra stuff that you need to progressively move forward so doing what i can with what i got that's that's how it works so not getting any satellites in here that's not a good sign this is the gimbal that, or the drone that took a fall it didn't just take a fall it took a serious fall Maybe I damaged the GPS unit on this one. Luckily, I have a couple more, so. I will go prostituting for you. Sounds good, man. Prostitute away, bro. Does anybody want to come in? we got 20 people watching. You guys are more than welcome to come on in here. Paste. Um, enter. Yo, $2 super chat from the Looster. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> Believe it or not, that actually does help right now. Let me uh, unplug these. I gotta have speakers here in a sec so I can hear. In case anybody decides to jump in, I need to be able to hear what they're saying. Right? Right. So, yeah, man. I think uh, I think this solo is ready. I'm gonna have to buy another fifty-dollar battery for the battery mod because my other one toasted. Um, I took it outside and stabbed it and put her put her down. It was having some serious problems, so <laughs> it's okay. You watch, hey man, doing what I can with what I got at the moment. That's that's for real. That's that's being honest. So, oh, MX with a five dollar super chat. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. Um, what was I gonna do? Uh, I had something else I wanted to talk about. Now I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, Gladius. Huh, the company hates me now, but let me tell you something. Um, they just produced another underwater platform called Dory. And I want you guys to go check it out. Tell me what your thoughts are if you get a chance. Just go look up uh, Chasing or Gladius underwater drones or whatever their new channel is, whatever the stupid channel is. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, the Gladius underwater ROV platform. They have a new one called Dory that's, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be a simpler version for any of you guys that wanted a simpler version that didn't have like the, the pro version and then you had the mini and now this is like the mini mini. I don't know how to explain it. That's apparently a lot more affordable for consumers. So if you guys wanted to give that a check out, you may want to get over there. It's called Finding Dory. Gladius is, I mean, that's a Disney complete ripoff of Pixar or whoever came up with that. So, yes, I absolutely can, um, HF Lynch. Give me one sec, man, I'll post that link. So, Mel, I am back here temporarily. This is my second day in a row. I've had to sit at my computer and do stuff, but... Um, I wanted to get this gimbal ready because apparently the drone uh, that, that Crystal and Chris are sending should be here Tuesday. So I wanted to get this unit completely set up and ready to go. And uh, hopefully it flies <laughs> after its major crash. I haven't tested it yet, so we don't know if it's going to fly or not. We're hoping it does. We're hoping it doesn't go bonkers. So give me one sec here, guys. I'm going to look up eBay. I will post that third-party gimbal link. Remember... Um, I don't know how to say this quite. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, don't get yourself started. You know, um, it's it's not advanced to install a third-party gimbal, but you kind of have to know how to solder and get in and change some parameters and have some fun. Um, I have a video showing how to do it. So um, if you're up for the task, I don't want to sell. I want to go to purchases here. Purchases. Let's see what we got here. Purchases. Recent purchase history. Um, purchase history. Come on. Come on. All right. Pixley. Here it is. Yeah, so this gimbal was 37 It was about 40 bucks, Just under $40. Bucks. Um and it says two axis brushless gimbal for DJI Phantom one and two cameras between 60 and 100 gram series sports cameras. 
which most of the GoPros are under 100 grams. They're 100 or less. So it should be able to support all your major newer cameras. And as long as it has an HDMI port, you should be able to plug in the HDMI cable and get FPV on the Solo. So let me copy this. Copy. You know what? This is probably not going to let me post this link. Um, where is that Area 51? Oh, I deleted it, Andrew, because nobody actually went. I didn't actually go to Area 51. Dude, Mel, how long have you been sitting there? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I just came in. Can you hear me? Oh, wow. You, you're, There's some severe latency lag, I think. You talked, and then I heard you like four seconds later. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. However, you're very low volume. Okay, let me move closer. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, give me one sec. I'm actually going to talk. Yeah. I'm here. All right. I got to pull up my mixer board real fast because for some reason it's not playing the audio on this very loud at all. Sir, sir, mixer light you are. What is going on here? I have like no audio. She has my headset, so unfortunately I can't. Don't worry about it, man. I just came through to show some support, bro. There we go. I got you. I can hear you now. Now that you're closer, I can hear you. Andrew's in oh, here. It was my fault. Oh, it, it, it was my fault because I still had the uh, tab open from the live stream. Sorry. <laughs> no you, you, deal, mean, you know, I still had because I was watching the live stream. So when I, I clicked onto the link, I hadn't clicked off that because I didn't know where I was going to get accepted. Right. Hey, it's actually going to let me post this link. Yo, there's the link for the gimbal if anybody wanted it um like i said it's about 37 dollars. there's not much i can do about the price guys but it's totally worth it if you're if you're wanting extra flight time and you want to run newer cameras it is totally worth it i've got one on it a phantom 2 that i still got right from years ago and it's quite it's a really good one yeah and you you can actually use the controllers on the on the thing so you can tell it up and down and stuff yeah just yeah. like on the solo, uh, and it, it works exactly the same. I'll show you the piece of crap if you want, but I don't want to show you. You know, I don't, you don't like the phantoms or DJ, or whatever. Yeah, well, you're, 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 you, you want me to show you what I'm on about? You're, you're good, man. Go grab it. You may yeah. want to put some more light in your room, though. So, what's going on? You can see me on camera. Oh, say that again. Can you see me? This is like a, a similar. Just let me unplug it. This is. Oh, let me just. Hold on, Andrew. Let me let me put you in solo layout there. All right. What now? It's more. It's like a little bit like what? Yeah, that's that's actually the one I just took off of my drone. Yeah, I'm not much. Sure. Oh, it's, it, it's a it's a B2C version one board, and it's tunable through base cam. And without showing it, come on. And it's not very good. Don't use that gimbal on the solo. Well, I, you know, I thought, yeah, okay, just all whatever. Beautiful, <laughs> but it's never gonna get used. You know about that. I'm just grounded. I'm grounded where I stand. All right. Sorry, Mel. You're going to have to speak up just a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Brother. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I now? can hear you. I can hear you. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. I'm saying that's a beautiful piece of machine. Well, I the same thing. Andrew, Andrew, my, Andrew, my Andrew, 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 he, you got to give him a second to finish talking. Mel has okay. been trying to talk. Uh, it's just a plug the headphones in. Sorry. I know. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just along for the ride here for the support. I was saying that's a beautiful piece of machinery, Andrew. Oh, no, it's crap. It's, <laughs> the actual drone, it's actually crap. Uh, oh, it the, 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 no, the gimbal is good. The gimbal's good. <laughs> right, actually. <laughs> no, I'm being honest, right? This is what it's about. It's Be like honest. Crap, yeah. Honest. Don't, don't, 
don't do what it's well, you know the youtube videos suggested no wonder they moderate or pull them all down i mean now you look at me you think yeah really now it's right now the point is saying no oh, yeah now the advertising and uh you know youtube videos this is what you you know if you spy on your neighbor this is what it's gonna look like it's not gonna look like the person that you're looking at right you're not gonna spy at somebody without hearing the thing or all that yeah. anything like that they've really really cracked down here i can only get it to fly up in there without and trying to land it without getting attention yeah 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 it's like it, it died for me and, and I, I i was so in love with it i still am because i am a hobbyist i've always been that way i, I love my helicopters right and the helicopters right you know i thought they're harder to control than any drone in my case mm -hmm. right you know they've got a lot yeah. more channels right going on you you've got to know what you're doing with one of them right yeah. now if put them things right them things you can you've got to keep them in sight anyway unless you really have i don't know some kind of crazy eyesight that works everywhere right mm -hmm. you know right and then you know i've seen dance videos and stuff like that and i can relate to them because i just know that all the things that people are putting on now they don't even have even any of that kind of quality because they've already been taken off because it was classed as wrong oh, okay. somebody's phone is ringing i don't know who's there yeah. yeah yeah me sorry for that and but anyway no but now they just Classes, you know, just useless. And and now I've got like you know these Mavics and stuff like that on a uh, marketplace, yeah. and they've gone from like eight hundred pound to like three hundred pound. Okay. In the space of like four weeks. Yeah. It's just because nobody can go anywhere with them. You can't even go to a flying place where you can go with your radio control planes and helicopters yeah so basically there's that's restrictions. fine but you go out with a gps right you know drone yeah 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 yeah, yeah. andrew have you been drinking today sir um i'm yes uh, i'm <laughs> waiting for my alcohol i'm waiting for my alcohol detox by the way okay all right i'm, I'm going in the end of the month so Oh, uh, I've got, I, I've got a really, I know I've got a problem. No, no, uh, man. I, 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 I have, I've got a problem. <laughs> you just keep droning on. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, no, no judgment. I, 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 I have, I've got a problem. It's got hold on me and I need help. So I, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, it's taken me loads of group sessions and stuff like that. I'm not into all that crap, but I have had to do it. <laughs> Because I, uh, I have to do it for my own health, you know. I can't. Yeah, yeah every too little many. Bit now, you know? Everybody I'm seeing is dying around me, and yeah. I you know. And I just, I, I don't want to wake up feeling crap all the time. I, I never, I never achieve anything. That's definitely I can, relatable. I completely understand, man. So I'm making. Like, I'm, I'm 39, and sometimes I can't even walk now because of my back. You see, you I'm said you're 39. Back. 39 but i've got that i've got a rare medical condition called ces quadri quadri syndrome and basically it's your spinal cord that gets to your bottom of your back yeah. and if you're not that then you can also it can paralyze your legs and oh, wow. you, yeah you cannot walk right and it can be like that for like nearly a week before you you still have that feeling, but your brain tells you, oh, I can still move, but you, you can't. Mm -hmm. You cannot. Yeah, that that's scary. Dan said he had a bit of a thing like that where he had two people had to pick, well, a few people had to pick him up because he couldn't walk. 
Mm -hmm. Remember? I still can't walk, bro. I got big balls, bro. <laughs> I love, I love, I, I no, I love the video. I love that editing. I would uh, put on the which uh, one, man? Uh, the big ball. The, the yeah, the one where you just set up right because you had a mixture of solo. You had all of the mixtures in there. Oh, the compilation video. Yeah, that was really really good. Uh, but it was only like two and a half minutes long, but it was I four, could tell four, every single one of them. Yeah, four minutes and forty. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it was really good. Well, thank you. Because I know that's really hard work, right? And and all these other divvies, right? You know that put all them things on where where are they doing them from photoshop or something are they doing some kind of special editing <laughs> well actually, I, I, I don't even get your notifications anymore it says nope. 18th but somehow i still get them so i'm not going to complain <laughs> well uh, it's because I'm in the UK and they, they say there's not a high enough revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because not really a lot of people in the UK join it. So, and but then you've got to find what you're looking for in the first place. Well, I, I got to say this, fellas, I got to get back to work. It was good coming in, drone worship. Andrew, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you too. I know, I'm sorry, yes. Way no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Um, you know, well, you know, you gotta express yourself. Um, drone will catch up in the, in the webs. You know how that goes. Um, you got my information. You can, you know how to find me. Um, hey, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to say I've been getting your messages, man. I just have been so just out of it, man. No, no need to explain. No need to explain, man. No, no. need to explain. If I took it personal, I wouldn't be here right now. My escape is here. Uh, this is. Is it? <laughs> well, that's me. I, I always look forward to just My every now and again. Usually with the women, you know, but we, we can't talk. Oh about yeah, them. oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah, that oh yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that, yeah. Family audience, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't know where other family audience. Is, so. yeah. yeah, but I, I yeah, talk yeah. to the fellas, okay? <laughs> no. right, Stay classy. Later, bro. All right. Okay. It's just, just you and me, man. This is just me and you. Best of luck, Andrew. I had a problem also and kicked it 19 years ago. Rick Haliber. Wow. Well, thank you. I, I, I mean, look, I, it's been a thing that's been on my mind for a while. And I, I had a problem before I started having this back problem. And I, and I thought I'd never really addressed it. And then... I realized I got this problem with, and I was reliant on to it. And then, yeah, I got myself trapped. And then, I, and now I seem, I mean, all I'm doing is I started off really on really strong stuff. And then I started cutting myself down and now I'm just drinking cans. But I don't want to drink at all, you know, because it, even that's making me wake up in the morning feeling, oh, I don't I want to do anything. I, I, I've got to get out of that. I, I want a bit of motivation back in my life. Yeah, I've not had a lot of that in my life. But I would like to think that I've got still a little bit of hope there, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it just, in because not I'm not for anyone else this is the thing you know they they was doing like a, a like a celebration thing <laughs> right you know that you've done like 20 one and a half hour courses right uh, well group sessions and i'm like okay yeah i don't want to be reminded of them right you know but uh, and then they did like a celebration thing like you got to the end before you got the detox I goes, well, I'm not going to that because I haven't got nothing to celebrate yet until I've been into the detox done it got out and then I know what I've got in plan Yeah, sure. I'm gonna make sure I've got like loads of microwave meals and stuff like that in me 
and pop and all that kind of stuff, you know, milk, etc. You know, go be a coffee, tea person and pop, yogurts. Yeah, I, and I'm going to put loads of money into loads of but yeah. Later, Mel. TCM, what's going on, brother? And then, and then you can get me doing a few of them tests with you, right? And uh, and uh, if I get through this, and and I'll I'll test you with these bug things challenges, these really spicy things, and then you can get me doing the same thing with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah with the noodles, but the stronger ones. You said you can get stronger ones, right? They were supposed to be the strongest. They are. Right, so we can do that task after. Sure. After I've done all that crap. What's going on? What was that? that was I don't really know. Weird. I just seen a pause there. That was weird. You saw that too, huh? Yeah, it just like paused. Huh. I've never had that happen before. Well, I haven't pressed anything. Maybe it's my internet. Well, I, I guess I guess it's probably proper to ask if people can still see us. Are, are we still here? <laughs> Do that stuff all along. <laughs> that, that was the first time uh, StreamYards has ever done that to me. Well, actually, just that little glitch there. Right. Yeah, we're losing people though. That's why I'm wondering if we're still okay. TCM says he can still see us. All right. Well, all good. I mean, I can leave if you want. It's fine. Well, I, I don't have much longer. I'm, I'm actually going to be cooking burgers here in a minute. We're doing burgers and dogs tonight, so I got to go. Actually, let me. Uh, I'll be right back, man. Let me go crank up the uh, the oven while I'm thinking about it. Okay. I'll be right. And, back. Uh, I'll get off then. I'm all Oh, okay. I ain't got to see anything.
I guess Andrew dipped on you guys. I'm huh? sorry about that. <laughs> Andrew just bailed. I had to go get the uh, oven on, and I'm making some broccoli cheddar cheese bites, and I'm doing some hamburgers tonight with turkey hot dogs, and we're just going to make a, a fun thing out of it. So, um, yeah, so sorry about that. Didn't mean to leave you hanging there too long. Waiting for the oven to heat up once that heats up. Uh, then I'm going to go out and start at the grill, and we're going to make the burgers, and it should be pretty tasty. So I am doing kind of better. I think it's really still touch and go, guys. I'm not back at work yet. I'm not. I'm just having fun at the house and, and, and trying to find a job that I can do from home. I, I'm not a transcriptor. I'm not good at typing. So a lot of the stuff that could be done isn't really my forte. I'm more of a, you know, a basic. Uh, I don't get me wrong. I never learned Word or any of that kind of stuff. Like, I don't understand PowerPoint. And so that kind of keeps me from doing a lot of the stuff I'd like to do. So maybe in the future here, guys, I'll start taking some classes. Because I would, honestly, I would love to work from home instead of going out daily and doing work. And it doesn't fit what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would like to be able to work from home. Not not YouTube, and but still be able to do YouTube, make my own hours, and you, you get where I'm going with this? Working a nine to five just makes it extremely hard to run a YouTube channel. You're putting so much work into your vehicle. You're constantly driving the thing. I, I would love to be able to just work from home. So that's that's where I'm trying to go from here. Like, I don't, I don't know if I want to return to a regular job. I want to do figure out some way to work from home. But that require training or whatever, that's where I want to take this. Because if I can make my own hours, I'm good to go. I don't want to work for a boss. I want to work for myself and make my own hours and still get paid. But, you know, because then it allows me the freedom of being able to do the stuff I want to do and still set up the hours around the time that I can do them. So let's say I wanted to go out Saturday and do something. I could do that and then come back and do work. You know, it's kind of what I'm aiming for. You know, when you have a job with a boss and you try to do YouTube, obviously it makes it a lot harder because... You know, as much as this is my hobby, it's also fun and it pays. So I, I want to keep this going. I want to keep it an exciting thing. I want to keep the adventures coming. I, you know, and I think the only real positive way for me to do that without being such a negative person is to drop having a standard job and figure out some way to work from home. So, yes, yes, Rick, I, I am. I'm having people over for my barbecue, sir. Do you want to join us? I'd say you got... About 45 minutes to get here before we get kicked off, my friend. And don't forget, October is Solo Fest. We do it every year. Um, I call it Solo Fest. You don't have to fly a solo, but if you want to come um, to Solo Fest, it's absolutely free. I give people the time, the location to meet up at. We all just go out there and hang out, and you know, everybody has a has a fun time. I'm thinking about probably Sunday this year. We're going to do Solo Fest on a Sunday. Um, traffic will be low if you come to Tampa and you're already in Tampa. You won't have to deal with too much. Um, places to eat will be extremely cheap. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll just be a, a fun day, man. We, we, we host this. is my fourth, fifth time hosting Solo Fest. And I just invite all pilots to come out. Um, I bring a computer out there that has a... a um, Flight simulator on it, so people can try FPV. I have goggles that plugs into the computer, so if, if GPS pilots show up and they just want to have a go on FPV and give it a shot, I bring out the simulator and all that, set it up on a table, run it off my car, bring all my drones, a little charge station for everybody. You know, we normally bring our own chairs and just hang out. Um, you know, normally I'll go get pizza. We get a whole bunch of pizzas and I fill a cooler with sodas and stuff. People come through waters and soda. And, you know, we just have this big, massive field that we all go fly at and just have some fun. So if you've never experienced Solo Fest, it's it's free. You just show up. That's it. I don't ask anything from anybody. It's just a, a fun event that I try to host once a year. I'm sorry, twice a year, uh, beginning of the year and near the end of the year. Um, so normally, like, um, February is normally when we'll do Solo Fest and October and November. But this year, I'm choosing October. So if you guys have never experienced Solo Fest, it is a lot of fun. Um, and yes, I am saying solo fest. Uh, it is it is something that I've put. I mean, you can look up the YouTube videos on here, guys. I've, I've had streams. I've had people come out and do their videos and 
you know, go home, Grex Whirly Bird, a bunch of people. We drag race solos out there. If you want to see how fast solos go, if I can convince Greg to show up with his, uh, we like to drag race the solos across the sky. It sounds insane and it looks crazy. Um, DJI people are invited. Anybody can just come out and fly, man. FPV, we have different sections set up. So, yeah, man. So I will come up with a date here coming into October and we'll see if we can get something set up for anybody who wants to show up at Solo Fest this year. Um, trying to trying to make it a thing, man. You know. So we'll do that. Rick says I will be there in a heart. <laughs> well, guys, I gotta go get ready to make dinner. I gotta get the grill uh, hot here in a second, so I gotta start getting ready to cook coming into seven o'clock. And it's time for me to shut things down. I, I hope you enjoyed the video with the solo. Um, bear in mind, we do have more videos coming for that whole solo setup because one of these is almost complete third-party setup and the other one is completely stock OEM. So now we're going to be taking complete third-party aftermarket, open source versus OEM and what's offered on OEM. So you guys will get to see the differences of actually playing around, having some fun and finding out what each drone can do. So once again, big shout outs to Travis at Not Fast Enough for printing me a carbon fiber PLA mix version of the um, battery cap or the top for the mod. Um, shout outs to the creator of that lid that works flawlessly. Um, what else did I want to do? Uh, True Drone Reviews, Brian over at TDR who sent me the new black solo that's like flown like twice maybe, three times. That was super cool of him to do that. Um, and shout outs to Chris and Crystal for sending me a parts solo with more 3d printed battery mod lids to test and try and see what works best whether carbon fiber is going to be the best or uh, straight pla is going to be the best so we'll have a chance to test all of those things um, as i get money guys and i start working again i'll be able to start fixing a lot more of my other stuff that is currently down right now um, honestly i'm probably gonna say that i'm done with the ft11 i'm gonna buy another one um, it was sent to me for review uh, I think at this point it lasted two years and two months and uh, it needs a new ESC and uh, a, a motor at this point, but most of the lines are pretty much dry rotted and cracked. I'm going to keep the hull. I'm going to part it out, pull the drive shaft out, do all that stuff. Um, I may just build another boat out of it, honestly, something a little bit faster. Now that I have a boat hull to work with, I'm not sure I want to put the same parts back in it because then I'm just doing the same thing to myself. So I may actually just invest in, in and now that I have a a, a multi protocol transmitter, I can actually start doing some fun stuff with a lot of the electronics that I have or the RC products. So like I said, um, I think I'm going to tear the FT11 4S down and see if we can get it to a 6S setup so it'll be as fast as the tracks of Spartan. I'll be able to uh, start running three prop setups on it, direct drive, um, bigger servos, bigger ESC, better water cooling. I'm going to have to change the water cooling size and all of that in a, in a boat about this big. So I think I could smoke the tracks of Spartan with my own setup. I think it should be a lot of fun. Um, you know, that's a project I want to do over the next like six months if I can do that get it working properly and start making some vids showing how I use the hall for the FT11 to build the whole process. So could be cool. Get rid of the, the pistol trigger as much as I like them. I'm um, probably going to do away with the pistol trigger and uh, go over to sticks. I'm so used to sticks, man. Pistol grips just are weird to me. They throw me off. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for being awesome. Don't forget to push the like and subscribe button if you're new. And uh, just because I'm awesome and I have this cute, big boy face and I rub my nipples. That's a good reason, right? Totally. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out. Later. Hashtag grow a pair.